Das folgende Video wird euch präsentiert von IBM Global Entrepreneur, dem internationalen Startup-Programm für junge Unternehmen mit B2B-Softwarelösungen. Bewerbt euch jetzt und macht mit Big Blue den Planeten smarter. Welcome to Venture TV. I'm here with Odera from VUC. Odera, what is VUC doing? Tell us about the company. Hi, Andre. So VUC is a location analytics platform. Uh, we make it possible for you to understand the offline world the way everybody does the online world. Think of it a bit like Google Analytics for the real world. All right, that's a pretty good description. So you, you actually track your customers while they're walking through your store. Uh, so we have sensors which are uh, plugged into a store, just like you might have a tag uh, for uh, JavaScript in a website. Uh -huh. And with our sensors, we're able to detect people as they move through a physical store, completely anonymously, of course. But what this means is a store owner is now able to take a look at how busy he was at a particular time of the day, or he's able to look at how frequently customers are coming back, or how long they spend in a store. It's a huge innovation for the retail industry. It's actually a breakthrough. And we're really looking to see uh, how, how far we can take this technology and layer in intelligence on top of it. So how do, you do, how do you do it? You can either give everyone a little sticker or something to be able to track them, or you do it in a different way. How do you do it? How do you do the tracking? So when we started off life, we saw technologies in the market like Foursquare. Uh, we saw the technologies like RFID tags, like you said. And we realized that these created friction And if you need a consumer to take any action, most of them may not take them. Uh, so we wanted to create a frictionless technology which actually allowed people to be captured and, and understood better uh, whilst not, being, uh, not having any intrusion on the journey. Okay. So what we've done is we create sensors and our sensors actually sit inside a retail store. Okay. Now what our sensors do is we're able to observe people when they come within the radius and range of our sensors because of their smartphones. Ah. And a smartphone acts essentially a bit like uh, that person's uh, IP address or a computer might on a website. All right. So a smartphone announces your presence. Mm -hmm. So every, every smartphone has a certain number. It's called the, the Mac ID, I guess, and uh, that's, a, that's unique. And you can, you can even discover that smartphone when the customer comes back in about a week or something. Exactly right, yeah. So with the Mac ID of each smartphone serves as a unique identifier. Mm -hmm. And so this is how we're actually able to see that a person uh, has come back a second or a third time which gives you information which is valuable on customer loyalty, for example. Yeah. Everyone's doing online, you're doing offline. Why? If you look at it, there's actually a huge proportion of consumer spending which takes place offline. Actually, 92% of consumer spending is happening on the offline world. Only 8% is happening online. So whilst online is very glamorous and gets all the glory, and we are still in the online world, we recognize that it's a hugely important part of the economy to ignore. You can't ignore offline, you can't ignore retail. That's where people actually live. Mm -hmm. There, there are other, other um, technologies that are used for tracking. How is it done until now? And um, what, what makes your product so, so different and so cool? So when we got into the market, we were going up against companies who either did clicking and they collect at a certain street corner and uh, they extrapolated this information for two years to give you an idea of traffic. Wow. Okay. Or there are companies who actually have infrared footfall counters, which can count as a person walks into and out mm -hmm. of a store. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they're using expensive cameras. What Vuzi has done is it's removed the expense of having an expensive camera installed in the store. And we actually give you full uh, behavioral data beyond just counting, which you would get with an, say, infrared counter. So all of a sudden you have a lower price and more intelligence at the same time. So our solution is, a f is about 10 times or 20 times more powerful and effective in terms of creating value for retailers. A typical retailer might invest 30 to 40,000 euros inside uh, one store just for uh, a camera system. All right. Yes, with Vuzi, he invests only a fraction of that and gets even more value out of it. So this is the reason why. It's, it's a really a leapfrog in terms of what we can do. How did you get the idea? Was it your idea? And what did you do before? So how, how, is, how is your personal history to that? Um, it was a bit of a personal story, actually. I used to work at uh, Groupon. Groupon, uh, uh, for anyone who uh, wasn't there, has been a very fast-growing company, uh, which provides a deal a day. A lot of work has been done with local merchants. Uh, what Groupon did was send customers to local businesses every single day. 
But the problem was uh, we couldn't actually see as Groupon, we couldn't see whether the customers were ever actually becoming repeat customers yeah. at those businesses. And the businesses couldn't tell. They would ask us, how do I know this guy's going to come back a second or a third time? Is he not a deal hunter? Mm -hmm. So what I did is I came up with a solution that was actually a frictionless way of tracking customer loyalty, even when a person pays with cash. Uh, we also had a problem which they highlighted to us of uh, saying, what if the person is uh, actually already a customer of mine from yesterday? Again, this was one of the, pro the problems that I was trying to solve when I created the Vuzi solution. So this was uh, this is something I, create, I, I thought through uh, whilst in the job. We brought the prototype. Uh, I remember my team sitting around the kitchen table, uh, putting the first pieces of our technology together. And uh, over the years, it's actually evolved to become a full solution which it is today. So we're deploying it in a number of retail stores uh, across the world right now, actually. All right, yeah, that's a, that's a good thing that you just mentioned, across the world. Yes. You are from the UK, but growing worldwide. Where are you active right now? Which countries? So uh, Vuzi is active right now in the UK, as you say, but we're also active in Germany, France, and Spain. Uh, we've made our first moves into the USA as well. So we're rapidly growing in, in under a year. We're tackling a lot of the world's major markets. So we're all over Europe. Uh, we're entering the USA actively as well. Just growing out of your own power? Or do you have like any external financial help that goes in? So we've been uh, we've raised funding as well. So we've raised funding in the market, yeah. and uh, that helps us accelerate. But also we have a, a particular strat set of strategies uh, which have helped our company grow faster than it might have otherwise been possible. All right. Yeah, so it's the two working hand in hand. All right. Yes. Sounds pretty exciting, um, and sounds like a really promising idea for the still huge market of offline retail. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm really excited uh, what I'll hear about you in the next coming years. Well, thanks a lot for the interview. Thank you very much, Andrew. I really appreciate the time you've taken. Thank you. Thank you.